Good morning, YouTube. It is an exciting time here in Portugal because we are finally moving into our apartment. Sort of. Lots of other like crazy stuff happening as well. We'll get into that later in the video. Uh, but yeah, exciting, exciting stuff. It feels like the world is turning a corner here in September. Okay, Google. Take us home. No, not take us home, Leeds United. Take us home, like to our house. Okay, I said that uh, we can move in, or said that we've got our apartment, but we can't live here yet until the official signing, which is next week. But we can kind of be here during the day and start moving in and stuff like that. So as you can see, there's just a ton of boxes and this is only like a quarter of it. So we're gonna spend the rest of the day unpacking, building furniture, getting organized, and then I have some news to share and maybe like a bit of a life update towards the end of this. So. Yeah, let's get to work. We made the bed. Jody's ordering food for lunch. I think the bed looks awesome. The bedding's not gonna be this white. We're gonna have like, we have like this bluish gray. And the plan in this bedroom is actually to have like a big uh, image on this wall that takes up the whole wall that's kind of like a forest, misty forest. Um, I don't know what you call that. Um, like a wallpaper that covers the entire wall. A what? A mural. a mural. Yeah, that's the word. So eventually there's going to be a mural there to give some color, bedside tables, a mirror here, and then potentially some like mirrors on this wall and a photo on this wall. A lot of people will be surprised to hear this, but neither Jody or me really want our own photos up on the wall at all. And I know that sounds crazy when you're photographers and like both Jody and I are photographers and we don't want our own photos on the wall, but I think it's just because I don't want to start hating my image and when it's my photo on the wall I'll constantly be looking for everything that's wrong with it. I'll see every sensor spot, I'll see every chromatic aberration issue and it would it would just make me hate whatever photo I put up on the wall. So um, yeah we'll have other images just not our own. Um, I think the next thing we're building is the TV stand after we eat something. This won't come as a surprise to you guys, but to me it kind of does. Living somewhere has its benefits. For example, we already have our favorite sushi place, pizza place, pasta place, Indian place. We have our favorite restaurants, favorite Portuguese places, of course. We have our favorite everything already, and that's awesome. So coming back to Lagos, we are stuffing our faces with Giovanni's pizza, which is so, so good. And then, uh, then we'll get back to the construction. Like we've made a ton of progress. Coffee. Oh, it's hot. I feel like we made a ton of progress uh, and it, it's still very echoey in here because we still don't have a sofa that's gonna eventually go there. We'll have a rug and we'll have some wall art here in the living room as well but it's already starting to feel like a home. It really it feels like yeah it just feels like home. It's that simple and I'm feeling super grateful for this space. Uh, still a lot of work to do, obviously. Like I said, the sofa, wall art. Jody's got an idea for like a little breakfast nook area. We have this massive deck outside that I'll show you an image of right now because it's covered in the cardboard that we have to take to recycling. But it's starting to feel like home. I'm sitting right now at my standing desk.
Okay, enough of that. Um, yeah, this is a standing desk. I've kind of set up a little bit of a home office here at a window, and I'll show you a picture or a video uh, the other direction of what it looks like right now. But essentially, this is only gonna be temporary for three weeks because I think I showed you guys already the space that we, that Jody and I have rented out that's gonna be my gallery. And downstairs, I'm gonna build an awesome office slash studio that's gonna have lights and it's gonna have, you know, camera setups and it's gonna have desks and places to film and it's gonna be wicked. We get that space on October 1st. It was supposed to be September 1st, but we had to do a bunch of legal stuff and make sure we were like good and set. So um, that's happening October 1st. So there is gonna be videos of me like transforming that space into a studio and office. And then also Jody and me transforming the upstairs area into a gallery and also a shop. And I think that's gonna be really, really cool. So I think that's gonna be fun. On this channel, it's still going to be a photography channel. But as I've said since I started doing this, I want this channel to be a blending of photography and life. I want it to be the life of a travel photographer. And yes, that life was nomadic for so many years, but now it's based here in Portugal. And yes, there's still gonna be lots of international travel once we can get back to it. But for now, it's about life and this crazy transition in our life, going from nomadic myself for over 10 years, 11 years now, and Jody for like three years, we've gone from nomadic to living somewhere. And I, I just wanna share that journey with you. That journey comes to like a fixed conclusion, I guess, in late October. I have a meeting already for my residency, which is gonna be, which would make me a Portuguese resident, which will be really cool. Jody is already a Portuguese resident, by the way. If you didn't know, she has a YouTube channel and it's awesome. What else was I gonna tell? Oh yeah, the big thing. Sorry, I'm like super distracted because we've just been racing around all day. Um, as Jody goes skirting through the background. Jody, show them one of your mugs. The, the coolest thing, I'm gonna get to the news in a second, but I wanna show you, like I have my, my little penguin mug. The coolest thing about having your own apartment is you get cool mugs. These are Jody's mugs. She's got, yeah, a leopard and a cheetah. Oh, I think it's a leopard. You think that's a leopard? Well, I'm pretending it's a leopard. With sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, it's so fancy. Can you bring them my other one? And this is a leopard. This is my other mug. <laughs> it's a flamingo. And actually, the flamingos just arrived here in Portugal today. We drove by, I think, Spain, and there's like three billion flamingos. So we might do a video about, uh, about flamingos over the next couple of days because there was, like I said, a billion. Okay, the news. I've been trying to, um, you know, do workshoppy teaching stuff, but normally I do travel photography workshops and that means traveling, and right now that's really not possible. So I've been planning for weeks and months to start online courses, but since we didn't have a space yet, it was just impossible. So now that we have this home and eventually the studio, I'm gonna kick off these seminars, workshops, and lectures. They're all going to start this month as in September. Uh, I'll have the list on my website. So if you click on the blog post below in the description of this video, it'll tell you the dates, but there's gonna be three this month. One will be like a seminar style where I'm just talking and telling stories for like an hour. Um, one will be a Lightroom course. We're gonna do like an hour long session, like an e extensive, like how to use Lightroom. And then the third one's gonna be like a business workshop that's gonna be much smaller, maybe like 10 people. All of them will be done on Zoom and all of them will have interactive components. So you'll be able to ask questions or if you didn't understand something, you can jump in and have me stop you. And then like the, the one that's smaller, that's 10 people will be like truly interactive, like mastermind style. So all the information on that is on the blog post in the description. And yeah, essentially that's it for me today. We are going to shoot some photography, I promise. Next, I have a video out about filters, an in-depth guide to using filters for seascape photography, and there'll be some photography vlogs as well really soon. So, hope to see you guys there. Peace. Awkward ending, but...
Peace. You should just cut to me in the chair like this and then be like, peace.